Why is Bayes, in general, controversial in some circles today, and has it always been historically? I wouldn't say always, but for, uh, certainly for a long time. So in the 20th century, Bayes was largely derided by uh, statisticians. Now, why would you use it? Well, because it's true, meaning like Bayes' rule just follows definitionally from the definition of a joint distribution and its relationship to conditional distribution, so you wouldn't think there's anything um, magic about it. Mm -hmm. um, the part that's magic about it is that often the world hands you data and what you really want is not the probability of the observations given what's true. What you really want to know is what's true. You want to know the probability of what's true given the data. The only way to do that is to use Bayes' rule, and therefore the only way to do it is to have prior belief about what is true. And at Bletchley Park, again, they weren't coming from any particular anointed tradition in statistics, like there were no statisticians there. Uh, they were doing whatever it took to get the job done. Uh, and there's, a, there's an interchange which is related by the statistician I.J. Good, where long after Alan Turing's death, uh, I.J. Good says that he was talking to Alan Turing and said to him, oh, you're using Bayes' rule, aren't you? And Alan Turing says, I suppose so, which I find to be an amazingly <laughs> non-committal result. It's, it's not clear if he was sort of just like, uh, didn't even know what Bayes' rule, I don't know, I'm sure he knew what Bayes' rule was. Um, anyway, so I think part of the story there is that they weren't, at Bletchley, they weren't coming from a tradition where they knew that Bayes was considered um, heretical and to be rejected. The main dominant schools at that time were the mathematical schools of Fisher and Jersey Neyman, Neyman and um, Carl Pearson, uh, sorry, Egon Pearson, the son of Carl Pearson. And both of them hated each other, and the only thing they hated worse than each other was Bayes. They hated <laughs> Bayesian statistics because you have to have some prior belief about the thing that you really want, which is dismissed as saying, oh, well, therefore you're being subjective, right? Because if you have prior belief about something before you've seen data, you have to quantify how sure you are about something. And so it is, using Bayes was dismissed as a subjective school of statistics. Now, the way we use Bayes today is often in the presence of such large data that the amount of subjectivity is washed out. And being Bayesian often today simply means following the rules of probability writing down generative models for how you think the data were um, produced, which is natural. I mean, it's basically just using probabilities rules. So it, it's, not very, um, it's not very daring to use Bayes' rule. Again, it's definitional. The thing that is, it draws people's ire is particularly when you have small data, using Bayes' rule means that you're willing to put in some prior belief about something. So for example, um, Actually, so it has been controversial for a long time, even when Bayes published his essay. So Bayes, oh, sorry, he didn't publish his essay, he died. His friend published his essay. So Bayes, who was a reverend, had this essay about the probability of, um, I believe it was the miracle of Christ's rev uh, resurrection, given that <laughs> miracles had been reported. And there was an active debate happening at that time uh, about how we should we interpret, uh, how should, could we use mathematics and probability to understand, to speak quantitatively about the probability of this miracle, right? Did it really happen, given that it was reported? Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he wrote an essay about it, and then he died, put it in his desk, and then his friend published the essay. So in order to do that, he started off what went on to be uh, an, an activity in theology where people actually did try to say, well, can we estimate the probability of God's existence? So later this happens... Um, to a later um, religious, this actually is not in the book, by the way. Right, actually, do we, do we quote Swinburne? Anyways, there's a, there's, a, there's, a bunch of, there's a whole school of philosophy where people try to um, calculate the probability of the existence of God, but the only way to do it is to put in prior belief about it. So that's the part that's heretical, is being willing to put in prior belief about the thing that you really want to know if it's true. God is heretical in statistics. <laughs> yes, so, certain, so certainly for Fisher and for Neyman, who were the two people who really set out the statistical synthesis as the way we teach it to our undergrads, it, any, you, any use of Bayes for understanding the probability that something is true is absolutely heretical. Right.